Uh, I also wanted to ask you about bike lanes and why your government's wading into this municipal issue. Um, you said that you've trust, you trust municipalities on housing, so why do you not trust them on bike lanes? Well, we just want to get traffic moving. That's what we want to do. We want to make sure that uh, all forms of, of uh, transportation moves quickly. And that, that's what it comes down to. Making sure you aren't putting bike lanes in the middle of one of some of the busiest streets in the country. Put them on the secondary roads. Like, believe it or not, you know, my brother Rob actually put more bike lanes in than David Miller, but he didn't do it down the middle of University or Bloor or any of those streets. He did on the secondary material roads, side streets. That's what you do. You don't clog up traffic just because of uh, their political beliefs. Hi there, Lorenda Redekop with Hi, CBC Lorenda. News. Hi there. Um, on the bike lanes, in those uh, the government's internal documents that we have, uh, one of the risks that is pointed to in that advice to your government is that uh, on congestion that uh, what is it, not allowing the bike lanes if a lane of traffic has to be taken out, that it actually may not uh, decrease congestion at all. Well, it's a bunch of hogwash. I know the city like, a, like the back of my hand. You go down on Hospital Row, University Avenue, paramedics are trying to get someone to the hospital as quickly as possible. They take out a lane of traffic, put bike lanes in there, it's cut down to one, it's jammed like crazy. Go on Bloor Street, that the disrupted all the businesses there. There's a petition just in Etobicoke for 50,000 people signing to get rid of these bike lanes. You might see four or five bikes as you see traffic lined up all the way down the road for kilometers and kilometers. Talk to our first responders that are pulling their hair out, the fire trucks that can't get across the road because there's barriers or there's bike lanes and they're backed up. Talk to our police that are trying to get to uh, a call or our paramedics. It's an absolute disaster, it's a nightmare, and uh, we, need to, we need to focus on transportation routes that get point, uh, people from point A to point B in as uh, quick fashion, very quick fashion.